DSLR means digital single lens reflex. These take weight, they have a very small footprint, so you can fit them in your camera bag or in a rucksack, and you can go hiking and travel with them. That's part of the, with a ball head mount, you can have the tripod angled any direction you want. Just loosen the clamps and turn it and get it set up. It's very fast, efficient, uh, the cameras as well. White balance is simply the color temperature of the image. So you can affect the actual color tone of the image just by selecting your white balance. You can reveal an always dark subject in your shots using both man-made or natural light sources. This is called light painting. The moon to illuminate the snow for me and I come up very well in a long exposure. Exposure was probably in the range of 20 seconds at ISO 1600. If you look carefully you can see the stars of Orion's belt, the three stars of equal brightness going up at an angle. Coming down from that you can see a line of stars with a fuzzy object at centre, or some of the Americans call them cosmic fireflies. Iridium flares are telecommunication satellites with highly... The Aurora Borealis is without question one of the most photogenic phenomena in the night sky. The best Aurora images you need fast lenses, these are the best option, uh, which cover all focal lengths. Super wide angles down to your 50mm portrait lenses are all good choices for, so it takes practice. Uh, it depends on the aurora, it depends on how dark the background sky is, and it depends if there's a bright moon visible or not interfering with it. But, and he's like, hold it, hold it, hold it, then a break came in. We had a five minute break, not even a proper break, but five minutes of patches. Boom, the aurora appeared. This is the main phenomena of summer. Noctilus and clouds. All that dust, the dust accumulates in the top of the atmosphere, drops into the mesosphere, and it's so cold up there, ice crystals encase these uh, dust particles and then that's when the sunlight illuminates them and causes them to glow like this. There's a Milky Way or you can stack multiple exposures and get an even better uh, definition and signal to noise ratio. The, most, the pattern will look different, it, you know, if you shoot west, south, north you'll get a different result and that's why it's quite interesting to shoot star trails. It's just this is the classic 22 degree moon halo captured from uh, my front yard in Cookstown. Uh, I can't help but briefly mention great comets. This is probably the the subject I'm most passionate about more than anything else. Uh, small in comparison, it might be only one or two kilometers in diameter. The tail can stretch for several hundred million miles through space. Eventually they arrive, they approach, the sun heats the nucleus up, the coma appears and the beautiful tail appears, rounds the sun and goes back out of the solar system and probably never to be seen again. Does it even exist? Everybody's heard of a rainbow, but you actually can get rainbows at night time. They're called lunar rainbows or moonbows. Plan ahead and the actual night sky, your, your photo shoot will be far more comfortable and successful.